Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today I'm doing a very quick video for you and I'm just showing you how to make these beautiful little um, fairy wings and I just think they are gorgeous aren't they? Um, a lovely little addition to any of your journals well if you're doing a garden journal or something like that a little fairy journal um, I think they're lovely so I think this is ideal for my folks of the forest journal with lots of sort of like greenery and fairy bits and glittery bits and I'm loving them so I'm going to show you how we do that today right so the first thing I've got are these beautiful wings now I got these from Amazon um, and they're called dragonfly wings I do have a link on my Amazon storefront so this is what they come out like what you get anyway and these are sort of like a yellowy color um, they're supposed to be multicolored, but they is just got a big bag of yellow ones in there and I got these ones as well these were supposed to be pink um, and they've come out with a tiny little bit of pink on them um, but they are really white and oh, look that's um, a pink half a pink one in there so they are not the best but they do look lovely once you've coloured them um, which I have done here so the one in the book was just a clear one which I use with stickles um, so then I went a little bit further and I added some stickles and also some of this uh, Nouveau glitter drops as well I found it a little bit better than stickles because the stickles because it's a sort of glue it tends to um, flick off a little bit um, and I've just got some little um, like sequiny things that I had here so it's just something I picked up in a I think it was from Casa little thing in there so they are beautiful aren't they these ones I have coloured with sort of like a purple now I am colouring them with um, Liquitex um, acrylic ink look at these aren't they just beautiful and then I've got pop them on a bowl pin with, with some little beads um, which are lovely this one I have added a little bit of um, the Stamperia it's like a little wax it's a silver wax that I just rubbed over the top once I the um, Nouveau drops had dried on there but I just think they are just beautiful and they're a lovely little addition to our journals aren't they so I've got a few here which I've already coloured so I've got this one this has got some green on it because I dipped it in the green but I think it looks okay these are some green ones I should have something really white let me take this this is one of my things I'm not really organised am I so these are the yellow ones that come out yellow anyway they were that colour um, and these were the white ones like this this one I coloured green and this one I coloured sort of like a it's like an aubergine colour um, but I'm loving them I just think they look so so lovely um, so what I'm going to show you how to do I've got one here let's just take a, a white one and I've just mixed up some yellow and blue acrylic ink this one which is the um, Liquitex one and then all I'm going to do I'm just going to brush over it like that now you want something these are pretty got a lot of pigment in these acrylic inks and you and you want it to really soak in and stay for a little while so it's not an instant quick um, project because you want to sort of like leave them for a little bit to, to dry um, you could probably be better overnight what I might do I'll go over that one again depending on how um, sort of like transparent you want your wings so you can just paint it on these ones I've wiped off so this is why they're a little bit um, sort of more um, transparent aren't they the more opaque but these are lovely so look and you just want to leave them to dry like that now this is I've just got a piece of cardboard with some um, baking parchment on there so I'm going to just leave those to dry on there for a bit so just use 
well it's trial and error really but I'm using the acrylic ink and I found that works really really well so but again try whatever you have to um, colour them with look at the state of my hands so I'm going to show you how I do this as well so once you've done them and yours come whether they come um, together like that I've just cut them in half just like that and then I'm just gonna just round that little bit off they do have little holes in already so I'm not sure whether I've seen some people make sort of like earrings out of these like that they'd make beautiful earrings wouldn't they so I'm just going to do the green ones because I think they're really really pretty now I've got some stickles now I'm going to pop stickles on first what can I hold it down with let me just hold it down with my tweezers and all I'm going to do is just rub it over just like that now this is which one's this this is crystal but you can buy all sorts of different colour um, stickles to go on like that I'm just going to put it all over the wing and here so you just got to be careful it doesn't stick to your paper because it will go through these wings just like that I just think they are so so pretty okay so that's the stickles and you want to just pick them up like that just so it doesn't stick to your paper then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this which is lovely let me just hold that down just go over it a little bit with this because this is almost like it gives you like a 3d effect so you can go around where the little um, patterny bit is on there can't you and just around the bottom I'll do a close-up of these at the end so you can see what they look like um, when I've finished but look at that just beautiful aren't they so I'm going to pop these just over there just to dry let's pop those out of the way shall we do the pink ones I suppose I'm going to actually leave these like that I might use them differently instead of cutting them I can pop them in the journal quite like this couldn't we let's put some just a little bit of stickles on there like this so this is a nice one if you wanted to sort of like do this in the evening and then by the morning everything is dry and you can sort of like put them all together unless you live somewhere really really hot and they will dry nicely but they're not ones to really dry with a heat gun because um, the fabric is sort of like a nylon -y and it will melt so there we go I'm going to pop a little bit of this on there as well so as much sparkly bits as you like if you don't have any of these and you've got some glitter you can add a little bit of glue and just cover them with some glitter um, there we go so these are going to be nice and shiny and pretty a little bit of bling to go into our journal so there we go pop those there to dry now let's pop these to the side now these ones I'm going to get rid of this piece of paper because that's going to be all sticky so we've got these beautiful pink ones or pinky purple aren't they and then we've got the beautiful purpley ones and these are more of a sort of like almost like an aubergine color or eggplant isn't it you call it as well loving these I hope you can see it now they've got a tiny little hole in at the top but I'm just going to round that little bit off just there just to tidy it up just a little bit 
like that. Then I'm going to take one of my little um, jump rings because I'm going to pop those in a jump ring because I find that they um, dangle better than if you just pop them onto the bulb pin as they are. Now I don't need those, I need to pick this up. I believe I'm going to have this all over my fingers for a few days because it doesn't like coming off. It's a very good um, pigmented colour so it lasts for ages on your skin so if you can wear gloves okay so that's on there like that which are just so pretty aren't they I'm going to do this one as well pick that up oh look how come I've got oh there's another one there let's put these on Actually, I need to just, oops, that's magnetic on there. I'm just going to just round these off a little bit. I'll make sure my camera is filming because for some reason it keeps clicking off. Not sure whether I need to get a new card for it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Let's pop this on here. <clears throat> Again, you can um, put whatever you like bead-wise around them as well. If you've got little gems, you could stick little gems on there. Which I do have a couple of little dummy things that I could probably put on there. But I can wait until I have it finished doing them all. Let's just pop that on there. Pop that on there like that. So that's another one. Another, did I have another little jump ring? I don't think I did, did I? There we go. Oops. Okay, I am so enjoying making this journal. It is so lovely um, to do. Look, like I said in the video, I think it was a video yesterday or a couple of days ago, that I thought I would get it finished quite quickly, but I don't want to rush it because... Um, I'm enjoying doing it and it's nice to work sort of like slowly and have it, you know, have something to do if you know what I mean. Um, let's just see what, make sure all of these are stuck so be careful yours don't stick. Let's pick these up. There we go, look that's got, don't do it on um, painted surface like that because they're going to get stuck on it. So pop it onto a nice fresh piece. Don't do like I just did. Let's take some bowl pins. I have got some of these lovely beads here, which are the BB Craft beads on there. So I'm going to put one silver one on. Oops. I'm going to pop the little wings on through the little jump ring. Pop another one on there. And there we go. Just gorgeous. Look at those. Aren't they just beautiful? And again, you could put them on a little earring, couldn't you? And make earrings out of them. They would look so pretty. Now, what I could do... I've got my beads, haven't I? I wonder if they would work. Would they be too big? Do you think they would go? Shall we give it a go? Quite like something a little bit blingy on there though. But it's worth a try, isn't it? Because I need to make some embellishments with these yet. Let's see if I can put... If these are going to be too big. 
I can put one of these, one of these, little wings. Oh, I like that. I've got another bead. There we are. Do I like that? Do you think they look a bit too big? Well, no, I quite like that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Lots of different ways. That actually looks like a dragonfly. What if I could make a dragonfly with the wings? Oh, I might try and do that. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Because you could use one of these beads as the head and have them. Oh, I will have to give that a go, I think. Well, let's pop a little silver one. You don't have to have the same beads on each one, but that's what I have here. I can always change the beads, can't we? So there we go. Loving them, absolutely loving them. I think the clear ones are probably my favourite. So let me just put these out of the way. So that's the one we've got here. Shall we find another one place to put some? Gosh, I've got so much stuff. Let's see what we've got in this one. This is the one we were doing yesterday, isn't it? Shall we have, let's stick some. Shall we have these pretty ones? Love them. And that can just pop on to the middle of the bow like that and then we have our beautiful little fairy wings or dragonfly wings whatever you'd like to call them i might stick this down onto there so these can just don't get stuck on there but look at that aren't they just beautiful they go with that actually so that's a good color match isn't it so they work well together so they can stay on there could even have some pretty ones on here my gosh I'm going to fill this full of these beautiful wings let's pop that on there like that lovely look at that sparkle with sparkle isn't that just beautiful can you see that little sparkly wings there we go okay guys well there we go that is a really simple um, little project for you beautiful aren't they the link to the wings are in my Amazon Amazon storefront so do take a look um, they're not very expensive at all and you might be able to get them in your local craft shop so go and have a quick little look um, if you're clever you could probably cut a little shape like this out of a piece of fabric um, and do that yourself but you want a sort of like quite a stiff fabric um, and do that and add a little bit of glitter or something like that and do the same I might even give that a go um, but I just think they are lovely aren't they look at that beautiful so there we go guys that's your little project for today another addition to our lovely journal um, well thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, bye-bye.